It is another beautiful morning in New York City, and we are back again with yet another seven days straight on call vlog. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am in my sixth and final year of interventional radiology training in New York City. Now you may have seen my prior videos where I did seven days straight on call. I'll link them all right up here. Well, this is no different, but every single week on call is different because it's a surprise. You never really know what you're gonna get. Watch my tiredness level increase and we'll see what happens. And just like that, I finished another day at the hospital. And by another day, I mean the very first day of my call week. It actually wasn't too bad. This day was mostly full of basically like genital urinary stuff, like percutaneous nephrostomy tubes. I did about three or four of those and a transjugular liver biopsy, which, yeah, so just kind of like basic stuff. No real big cases per se, but just kind of bread and butter stuff, which is good every now and then. You have to know that stuff too. And then we had to prepare a little bit for tomorrow because tomorrow is a big day. We're filming an entire day, basically presenting it and broadcasting it to the world, just like we did at the LEARN conference a week prior. So I have two cases tomorrow. One in the morning, I'm doing a prostate artery embolization. And then the second one I'm doing later on that evening, which is a renal mass embolization. Should be pretty good. So tomorrow is going to be a pretty big day. I'll bring you guys along for the ride as usual. Make it to actually show you some cases. So we'll see what happens and see what the day brings. All right, so it is now officially day two of my seven days straight of call. Uh, last night wasn't too bad. Got the hammer paged about 8 p.m. last night, about nothing really emergent. Then this morning I got woken up about 4.15 about a cirrhotic patient who had bleeding varices and wanted to know what we could do about it. The patient was stable, so we decided to defer until the morning, which is good because last thing you want to do is come in on your first night on call and be tired the rest of the week. The only bad part about it is I didn't really get much sleep after I got called in because I had to get up, I had to check the CT, talk to people for a good 30 minutes or so, and then go back to sleep around 5 and then wake up at 5.45. So I don't even think I really slept. But I did forget to set my alarm last night, which is not ideal. But I woke up automatically at like 6.20 which is later than usual. I usually wake up like 5.30, 5.45. Somehow got up, I guess, because the sun's shining. I knew what time it was. <laughs> it's the beauty of living in New York and having access to the sunrise every morning. But we're here now, huge, massive day ahead of us with this whole treat live case symposium today, which you'll see in my other video. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Good morning, everyone. I'm here in room five, we have a great case for you. I'm standing next to uh, Dr. Cellini here and Dr. Blue as well as Dr. Carlin. Um, so I'm going to turn the, uh, the slides over to Dr. Cellini. He's going to present the case for you guys. All right, so we're going to present a case of prosthetic artery embolization, as you know. I'll see, is that the secret vesicle right there? So, <laughs> treat went well. The actual symposium went really well today, but finished that around 6 p.m. and had an add-on inpatient to do after that. And I just finished and it is now midnight. So that's fantastic. So, been here since 6.30, 7 a.m and now here till midnight, still on call, about to go home now, nap for a few hours and then come back. And that's what we do. So, see you in the morning. All right, so it's been quite a whirlwind day, I must say. I mean, I don't even know where to begin or what's been happening the last day. Yesterday was like a blur. 
I can't even remember what I filmed yesterday. That's how crazy yesterday was. So we did our whole treat symposium, which was crazy. And then at the end of the day, I can't even remember if I talked about this already, but at the end of the day, we actually had an inpatient to do. So we were up till almost midnight or whatnot doing this case. Got home, went to bed at like a bit one or 1.15. Got paged at 2 a.m. accidentally, which woke me up. Got paged at 4 a.m. accidentally, woke me up. Then I had to be up bright and early for a full day of cases today. And as you can see, I'm exhausted. I was on my feet wearing lead all day yesterday. Got a few hours of sleep, on my feet all day wearing lead today and got home at a reasonable hour now. Hopefully I don't get called in and I'm going to go to bed by like 7.30 tonight. So we'll like when this sun goes down, I'm going to bed. All right, I think I've officially hit my tired limit for the week. Um, it is now Friday, 7 a.m. I was up all night dealing with some transfer patients uh, since we cover a lot of hospitals. Or we have a lot of hospitals in our system. We cover a lot of hospitals and one patient was transferred to us overnight. They were unstable on arrival and then became stable. But the problem always is nowadays that we have to decide it, if it's emergent enough to do the case without a COVID test resulted or to wait for the COVID test. That's kind of like the situation we're always in overnight with emergent cases. So I was up all night dealing with that, trying to decide if we were going to go ahead and bring it in or do the case or wait for COVID and discuss with the anesthesia. It doesn't really matter if I come in or not because I was up literally the entire night anyways dealing with this, checking lab results, and all that good stuff. So I may not have come in last night, but I'm just as tired as if I did. So we have a long day of liver tumor embolizations and mapping prior to Y90s today. So I'm gonna be exhausted, but hopefully we make it through with the help of coffee. Well, this day has been a doozy to say the least. Just finished a Injured Graham, now I'm finally going home. It is almost 9 p.m. I've been here since 7 a.m. It is Friday night. I'm still running on no sleep, and if things continue to go this route, I'm in for a long weekend. Well, I'm already in for a long weekend because tomorrow I have a case scheduled at 9 a.m. and I have to round on like 10 patients in the morning, so I'm already busy, and the day hasn't even started. All I can say is what a morning. I literally got here super early. I took an Uber here at, what time did I get here? Maybe like seven-ish or something. Came straight here after staying up all night. Well, not all night, but doing that case super late yesterday, a long day yesterday. And now just finished another embolization, um, which didn't take too long but it was a little different approach than we usually approach these. So that's all done now. I'm catching up on some patients, seeing all of them. Probably have to see a consult or two, double check a few things. It's about three o'clock right now. Going to grab a bite to eat finally. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to tell you. Last night when I was leaving, I put the lock on my locker, a little combination lock. I closed the lock and then I went back to get something on my locker and I literally can't get in my locker anymore. So for the last 20 minutes, I've been YouTubing how to open up a combination lock without knowing the combination because I think someone like accidentally put their lock on my locker. So I have no idea what the code is and I can't get to any of my stuff, which is very annoying. So now I'm on the mission to find a soda can to see if I can create a little shim to open the lock. Stay tuned. So I went on a search for cans and coat cans and all that kind of stuff because I watched a YouTube video that you can kind of shim a uh, piece of thin aluminum down by the lock, but I couldn't find any. And I was done for the day, so I just decided to come home. And it is now five o'clock. I am home. I am just relaxing on the couch and anticipating someone to call me in at some point tonight or tomorrow because that's just the way it goes. If anything comes up, I'll check in with you guys when it comes up.
Okay, so it is Sunday. We are back at the hospital. Just doing some rounding and all that stuff. But two important things. One, I didn't get called in last night. Two, I brought some supplies to shim my lock and hopefully break into it. And I'll show you all what I'm going to do after watching a few YouTube videos. I actually meant to do it yesterday, but I just couldn't find a, an aluminum can anywhere, which is crazy in a whole hospital. There was like no aluminum can. So I had to wait till I went home and broke apart one. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's just hope this works because I need some stuff in my locker. All right, so here are my, wait, hold on. These are my aluminum pieces and I'm going to cut one right now from what I saw on the YouTube video. So I have my handy dandy suture removal kit and I'm going to cut it into shape. So it's supposed to be something like this and then I'm going to fold up these edges. Let's hope this works. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. All I did was slide this shim down the side of the block and we got it open. All you need is a little piece of aluminum. Who would have thought? Let me show you exactly what I was talking about here. So say it was locked. I'm just gonna lock this own lock again even though I can't unlock it. What I did was I slid this down the side and I held pressure on it like that and I kind of slid it down the side to just go next to the lock. So basically I slid it like this and just like that, we got it open. It only works like one time though, so. I'm so happy to have my locker open. I can't even get over it. Uh, I don't have any of my hats. I don't have anything. I feel so much better now. Just like that, we have completed another seven days stretch of call. But as you know, I could always get called in tonight. So I'll just end the vlog here as per usual. And if I get called in, I'll show you what we're doing. So on that note, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Follow me on TikTok, which is my new latest thing. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.